Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Chaos and Order, art by Susan Holt. That is me. Today is April 30th, 2023, and this is Studio Time Sunday for the special event, Spectacular Spring, here in my VIP group. Uh, those of you who are with me are my VIPs, so thank you for joining the group, everyone. Um, uh, before I get started, I would like to do a little bit of housekeeping. If you are watching live, thank you so much for being here. I see Hillary and Priscilla are here. Hello, hello, welcome. Uh, I do watch these shows back, so if you have a comment or a question and you're watching in replay, first of all, go ahead and put hashtag replay down in the comments for me. And when you do have a question for me, give me a little bit of context so I know exactly what, what uh, information to get back to you. Um, if someone can make a comment for me, and that way I know you can hear me, you can see me, and I can see the comments today, that would be fantastic. Um, if you look down at the bottom of your screen on the right hand side, there's a the little thumbs up emoji and the, the little heart emoji. If I say something you like, give me some hearts or give me some likes. If I say something or you see something that you love, maybe a painting that you love, go ahead and give me some hearts. Oh, I see Jennifer is here. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, Jennifer, can you make a comment for me so I know that I can uh, see the comments, please? And today is going to be Studio Time Sunday, which uh, you know I love. I love painting for you. Jennifer says, hi, excellent. I can see the comments. Thank you, my friend. And I see Chris is here. Hello, hello. Uh, so for those of you watching live, if Jennifer Richardson or Chris Kurtz uh, get back to you with a comment while I'm painting because I can't see the comments, um, that's my husband and my bestie, and they mostly know what they're talking about. And I see Sharon and Tina and Tom and are here. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. You are just in time. I'm going to show you four paintings today, and then I will go over to the other table and we'll do some painting. Um, before I start that, if anybody wants a commission piece, I have some canvases ready, so just let me know you want a commission. You can let me know here in the comments, or you can let me know over in Messenger. Either way, easy peasy, mac and cheesy, I'll walk you through the whole thing. All right, first painting I want to show you today for a little show and tell section this morning, this, sorry, this afternoon, is Teal Nebula. No, this is one of the monthly paintings. It's a um, July 2022 monthly painting. And of course, this one will bring you peace, calm, and joy. Great little painting to meditate to. Lots going on in the background. Spiral you can focus on. And this one is kind of teals and pinks. It's very southwestern uh, vibes coming from it. So if you have southwestern decor, this one would be a great little piece to go with that. So this is Teal Nebula. It is 12 by 16 inches. It is $1,100, and that includes free shipping in the continental U.S. All of my paintings come with free shipping in the continental U.S., um, except for commissions. Right, next up we have Tsunami, no, sorry, Flying Spaghetti Monster. This one <laughs> uh, looks to me like it's um, something ancient coming up out of the ocean, so I thought Flying Spaghetti Monster was, was a pretty good um, name for it. Jennifer says, yay. Uh, this one is 14 by 20. It is $1,500, including free shipping in the continental U.S., and this one I have actually used to, um, to get myself centered and then meditate after I look at it. And it is very soothing and very calming when you do that. Because of all the blues and greens. And there's layered dots in there. You can just get lost in this piece for a while. 
Jennifer says, I love this one. Can I see the finials? Absolutely. There's a closer close-up of them. There's a lot of work in this one. Dots inside of dots. And these white dots out here that are in the um, peripheral border, uh, they naturally came up during the pour of the painting. So I've <laughs> you can kind of see that they're different than the ones in the spiral. There we go. So this one, oh, this one again, Flying Spaghetti Monster, 14 by 20, 1,500. And free shipping in the continental U.S. Two more left to show you, and then we will go pour a painting. The next one is Warp and Weft. And this one, it was inspired by friends of mine who are weavers. Um, the warp, you warp a loom kind of lengthwise. And the weft is the, the stuff that goes across on the shuttle to actually weave the fabric. So I thought that this one with the, the patterns going a couple different ways was perfect description for that. This one is also a little bit southwesterny in its color theme, but instead of the corals, it's, it's more of a burgundy red. There's blues, reds. And it's got a starburst, some black paint, and just a close. So this one I have not um, meditated to personally. It, it this one does not um, does not touch me like some of the others do. But I know that there are people out there who will absolutely love this painting and love to have it to. Give them um, not only a sense of, of joy, but also some motion and movement to a room. This one is Warp and Weft. It is 16 by 20, and it is $1,700, including free shipping in the continental U.S. So if you are interested in that one, please let me know. And then the last painting I'll show you before I go over to my creation station. This one is Tsunami. This is one of my favorites. It's got gold, lots of gold, and then some teal and aqua in it. This one is super fun and has a lot of really great energy coming off of it. So if you're interested in a painting that has good energy, this is going to be the one for you. Here's a close-up of it. So this one is Tsunami. It is 16 by 20. It is $1,700, including free shipping in the continental U.S. as well. Jennifer says, lots of motion. Absolutely. And there's the close-up of the spiral. But when you get up close to the gold, you can really see a whole lot of variation and movement in it. And then when it's backaways it, it really does look like one cohesive piece so this is a really good one so if you're interested in this one this one is tsunami all right and today is the last day of the spectacular spring uh, art show and sale extravaganza so do let me know over in messenger or in the comments if you're interested in any of the paintings that i have in stock or if you're interested in a consultation call or even a call for a commission. So let me know that. Um, next week we're going to start a new monthly painting. So I'll post Tuesday night on, hey, what colors do you want me to, to um, put in the poll tomorrow? And then Wednesday next week we'll do the voting on the poll at noon. So tune in for those. And then tune in for Zenstay Wednesday Live next week. And let me go over. I'm going to, I actually have everything set up today. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the camera off the stand. And we're going to walk over to the other one. Over in the painting room, a.k.a. the dining room. Get you set up over here. 
right. So I, yesterday during the live, I said that I had a painting in mind for today because I had dreamed about it the night before. So I have my little, <laughs> I have my little sketch. I know that probably means absolutely nothing to you guys, but it means something to my brain. So I will be working off of that sketch today. I'm not sure how this one's going to turn out. So I brought my paints over so that I had a couple different options. I will try to check back in on the comments as I paint, but sometimes I miss a comment. If that happens, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Jennifer says, looking forward to seeing your dreams. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. Sometimes my dreams are really weird. All the time, they're very cinematic. So I think that's part of being a creative person is Dreams are often very vivid. I dream in color. I know some people don't dream in color, they dream in black and white. I dream in color and uh, a lot of times the closest thing I can tell you that my dreams are like for you to, to see and visualize is kind of like a Marvel movie. <laughs> always action going on. How about you guys? Do you guys dream in color or do you dream in black and white? It doesn't matter for me if they're happy dreams or if they're stressful dreams. I don't even think I dream in black and white when I'm sick or under the weather. Everything is in color. Jennifer says her dreams are mostly color too. Well, that's because you're a creative person as well. Creativity can be more than just artsy. I have friends who are coaches and training professionals, um, accountants. A lot of a lot of our friends are uh, tech people for their profession. Chris says he dreams in color. Well, that's because you're creative too, babe. And then on the weekends they do fun stuff like steampunk. Or sewing. It's all very creative. And I have friends who are, like I said, um, coaches and trainers. That's very creative as well. You have to apply what you know the best you can. And it takes a lot of creativity. Someone said to me one time that creativity was reserved for artists. I don't believe that. I believe that artists, our creativity comes out in different ways than, than other people. But it's the same for everyone. None of us has the same brains or the same hands. We all think and move differently. Let me see if I can get the painting that was in my dream out of my head and onto this canvas today. I don't see the name, but someone says usually they are influenced by the style of whatever I've been watching or video game I've been playing. Is that you? Chris, was that you? Oh, that was Jennifer? Yes. <laughs> well, that was
was my second choice. Not sure about this. <laughs> Everybody's job takes some creativity, especially when you're learning how to do something new. Re rewire some of your, your neurons in your brain. As humans do that all the time. And that can be a little more stressful than we bargained for. But that is one of the reasons I create paintings that I create to help myself and others take that stress out of their lives. Often dream about paintings that I want to make. This one I did. Sure, this is going to come out how I wanted it to, or imagined it to, or dreamt it to. I'm going to give it a try.
Well, that is nothing like I wanted. <laughs> that is okay. of being a professional artist is knowing the outcome you want but not being disappointed by it and knowing how to change it, roll with it, depending on what you need to do. That's what I'm doing right now. Changing it, rolling with it. Art is like life in that way work, change it. If it does work, comes out a little bit different, that's okay too.
This is really close to what was in my dream the other night, so I'm going to just stop here and leave the painting alone, let it dry, let it settle, and see how it turns out tomorrow morning after it is dry and ready to go. Ready to come off the, the pouring rig. better than I thought it would. All right. Well, I am pleased. I hope you like this painting. I see Melissa Ann is here. Hello, hello. I hope you like this painting. I hope you enjoyed watching me fiddle around with it until I got it the way I wanted it. And I hope to see you this Wednesday on Zen Stay Wednesday Live at um, 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on Casting Order or by Susan Holt. That's me. I'm over here off camera. And um, just go ahead and... Um, let me know if you like this painting down in the comments, and I will see you very soon. Have a really great afternoon, and thanks for watching here on Order and Chaos. Sorry, Chaos and Order, art by Susan Holt. Bye!